Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and uh, from the last tutorial we have the tab activity inside the Android Studio and today in this video we are going to finish the tutorial that means we are going to add the fragment activity and fragment layout for each of the tabs and we will be going to add the uh, fragment for each tab layout so first off we have to create the fragment activity so right click on the first folder then go to new then java class we have discussed about creating a fragment and if you haven't watched that then you can watch the tutorial from here now we have to just add the i want to give the name as fragment one now we have the fragment one and we have to extend it same as what we have done in case of the navigation drawer and inside that I'm pressing the control O and adding two methods that is one create view and one view creator using the control I'm selecting both of the methods and clicking the OK and removing all these commands and from here now we have to return the layout inside this fragment activity so return then in flat we have discussed about this in the previous tutorial about the fragment and uh, once again i'm repeating if you haven't watched it then please go and watch it then r dot layout dot then now we have to create a layout so right click new layout resource and i want to name it as frag one or uh, frag underscore one now I want to just copy everything from the fragment, paste it inside the frag one. Also I want to change the text view into the sender. Okay so now I have the first layout for the first tab and I want to just copy this layout into two more. Frag two and first layout into second layout and third layout okay so i want to close it now we are going to add the frag one then container yeah then false and that's pretty much it now i want to copy the fragment one and replace it again so pressing the selecting the fragment one and pressing the F5 on the keyboard. Now fragment two. Also changing the frag one into frag two. Okay, now let's close everything and um, now we have the fragment uh, for the each of the tabs and we also created the corresponding layout files. Now if you want you can also simply add some color, some kind of other things inside the layout. I want to leave it free for this tutorial and now the main part is inside the main activity. So using a switch we will be going to switch from each each of the fragment when the tab is swiper or selector. So you can see we have as I told in the previous tutorial we have the view pager which get the tab position from the tab layout and uh, it's going to replace each of the fragment according to that so what we have to do is that we can see the fragment argument representing that section of this fragment so it is going to represent the section which is going to be the number and you can see right now we have three different fragments so it returned three get count is return three now we have a total three tabs and also here is the title for each of the tabs and what we have to do is that you can see we have that return a fragment corresponding to of the selection tab pages or something like that so as i said in the previous tutorial it, uh, it create a one create view method inside the main activity itself which means that it is only going to do a simple simple update like it is going to change the text view inside the fragment main dot xml file when the each of the tab is selected or each of the tab is swiper or something like that so we have to completely remove each of the lines and we are going to simply add a custom fragment for each of the tabs so to begin with all we have to do is that as i told you we have to remove each and every lines uh, so i'm just removing everything from here to here that a yeah, placeholder fragment containing a sample view so we have to replace this placeholder fragment method and we are going to 
just use a switch and uh, we are going to get the position of the each of the tabs and according to that position we are going to assign a fragment for that so as i said i'm just going to select from this into up to we have to get yeah up to here so deleting that and now we have the menu and the section page adapter and you can see get item is called to instantiate the fragment for the given page return a placeholder fragment defined as a starting in a class below so yeah that's pretty much it now it is going to get the position of the fragment and this position is going to get the position of the tab so using the position of the tab we have to specify a custom fragment for each of the tab so as i said in the navigation drawer activity we'll be using a switch so i want to create a switch and the switch going to get the position of the tabs okay now inside the switch we have to add the cases so case 0 which is going to be the first case that is going to be when the tab is selected the first tab is selected so if the first tab is selected then we have to add the fragment activity according to that so the fragment 1 and I want to give a variable name for calling the fragment 1 inside the return statement so I want to name it as frag 1 or yeah fragment 1 itself then equal to the new fragment one and now we have to return the fragment one that is going to be the variable name now in the second case that is going to be when the second tab is selected return then fragment three now in case of the switch we have a default value so i want to add the default and that is going to be simply nothing but return then null okay now we have added all the things required and uh, if you want you can change the name of the tab into anything as you wish so by default it is section one section two and section three if you want i want to change it into tab one and uh, this is going to be tab okay now i have three different tabs and if you want to add more than three then you have to simply add the case three over here and after that you will also have to simply add the return equal to three and uh, this is how you you will have to change the three into four or whatever else the number of tabs you are going to create so that's basically how it actually work and uh, yeah okay now we have the fragment for each of the tab selector and uh, using the section page adapter method we have added the we got the position and according to position we have changed the fragment for the tab so now let's go and try this in a real android device okay guys so we have the android app in the android device and everything is pretty much okay and by default we have the fragment one and when I swipe from the right to the left, you can see it is a fragment two. And now it is the third fragment. And I can also tap on the tab and uh, go to that particular fragment activity. So that's basically how it is. If you have any kind of questions, then uh, you can ask in the comment section below this video. You will also get the full tutorial on my website the link will be in the description below this video as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next tutorial